Welcome to the world of Terra Firma. At first glance, it may not look too different from vanilla Minecraft, but looks can be deceiving. With a slew of different game mechanics, as well as new flora and fauna, Terra Firma aims at improving the Minecraft survival experience. When starting a new world, the first thing that'll stand out to you is the UI, or user interface. To start with, there are three different colored bars. The red and green bar are the health and food meters, respectively. Nothing new here. However, the blue meter underneath tells you your thirst, which you have to monitor too. You can drink water to replenish your thirst, but you can only drink from a freshwater source, which is indicated by the presence of cattails. Salt water, on the other hand, is often distinguished by seaweed, which you can also break and eat. When opening your inventory, you'll notice four tabs. The first tab directs you to your inventory, the second shows you your skill levels, the third tab tells you the date, notice that you start off on June 1st in the year 1000, and the last tab shows you your nutritional values, which you need to monitor. Each food item in the game has a different food group attached, in this instance, seaweed is a vegetable. After satisfying your hunger and thirst, you may be inclined to punch a tree as you normally would in vanilla. However, you'll be stuck doing this for a while, since you can't punch down trees in terra firma. Instead, try to collect these rocks that are laying on the ground, as well as sticks, which can also be collected from either the ground or by breaking leaf blocks. After you've collected a fair supply of rocks and sticks, right-click on the rocks to begin making tools. This process simulates napping, where you chip the rocks into the shape you'd like. By clicking each square, you can change the shape of the rock into knife blades, an axe, shovel, hammer, or hoe head or a javelin tip, as well as a few other tools. By combining each tool head with a stick, you get your tools. You want each one of these immediately, as each has a different purpose in the game. Axes are used to cut down trees and other forms of wood. This takes time, but luckily, the entire tree collapses when you cut down the base. Knives are useful at first as a weapon, but in addition to this, they can also be used to gather straw by breaking grass, which can later then be combined into thatch blocks. Hammers are useful in metallurgy, which we'll go into in a later video, but are also the only weapon that are effective against skeletons. Hoes till the ground like in vanilla Minecraft, and last but not least are shovels, which dig into the earth. But be careful when you're digging, as various blocks, like dirt, are affected by gravity. Now, after you've done all this, you can make a shelter with the wood you've gathered. You should finish right in time before night, and now you have a shelter. In order to add some lighting, you'll first need to make a fire starter by combining two sticks diagonally in your crafting menu. Afterwards, throw three sticks onto the ground and right click them with your fire starter. It might take a few tries, but you should soon have a fire pit. Throw some logs onto this fire pit as a fuel source and put some sticks in the input square. These sticks will soon light and become torches. However, make a large amount of these because torches will burn out with time. As night approaches, you should be all set to survive. Then, when the morning comes, you'll be ready for your next day in terra firma.